Hey y'all, Julian here, also known as the Bitter Thrift Machine. And today we're going to talk about PirateShip.com and how I use it to save money when I ship things on eBay. So it's going to be real quick. I learned this on YouTube and watching other people's stuff on Instagram, but you got to go on PirateShip.com and you know fill out your login and everything they got and link it to your account or I linked it to a credit card so I can you know uh, track spendings and everything like that. And then how you do it, it took me a while to figure this out. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. There's a thing that says import from eBay, or there's a whole list of like websites this works for that's like e-commerce related. I use only eBay, so import from eBay, boom, hit it, and it imports all your uh, recent sales that aren't shipped into here. So now you can get rates for the cubic size rather than whatever how calculated eBay does it. For example, uh, yesterday I sold a cast iron small teapot going to Alaska, right? I live in the southeast on the coast. That's a long trip for a teapot. So the weight, three pounds, five ounces, size, nine inches by eight inches by five inches. Small little container, pretty heavy, right? Would not fit in a padded flat rate envelope. So that's out. So calculate it on eBay, $17.50. All right, that's not too bad, I didn't think. Jump on pirate ship, type in the, the dimensions, everything like that. 12.29. So that's pretty good. That's like five dollars in savings on one package. Um, I sell about 10 to 15 items a day. Sometimes I use this as much as three times, maybe a day. A lot of my stuff, and again, I live on the coast in the southeast. A lot of my stuff goes to California or somewhere on the west coast. I've noticed that if I'm sending anything further than say Utah. Um, and it, again, it fits that parameters of kind of heavy and it's, you know, uh, a small item, but it won't fit in a padded flat rate, then this is going to work out for me. Anything, you know, Puerto Rico, Washington, Oregon, uh, California, Nevada, something like that, that is going a long way. Pirate ship is the way to go. Like if you live in Florida and you sell a lot of stuff and, you know, I know that you're selling stuff to California because it seems like California eats up a ton of stuff. There's just a lot of people who live there, so a lot of people are shopping in California. But if you're not using this um, this website, I'm telling you right now, you're you're losing money on your shipping because this does save money on certain applications. Now again, play with it, figure out exactly what applications work for you, but what I've seen is gonna be a small, heavy uh, object that will not fit in a padded flat rate from priority. Uh, a lot of times, like I said, this was a $5 savings and that's even with my discount on eBay. Now I do this for a while because I was kind of scared. I don't like anything new. And again, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea how any of this works. I didn't do this for the first two months and looking back just how much I probably spent in shipping that I didn't have to kind of blows my mind. Uh, but, so if you want to, go check out PirateShip.com. It is really, really easy, user-friendly. Remember, you, after you log in, there's going to be something that says, like, import from, you know, eBay or whatever it is that you're using. I'm using it for eBay, so that's the one I click. And it's very self-explanatory after that, if not easier than how eBay is set up. And then, and then go from there, and hopefully you all can save some money and learn from, uh, learn from this a little bit. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.